that's what that does. It produces some pretty noisy sounds. And I can also... That's unmodified. Cool. It's got a, it's basically a little microphone, um, and what it does is it doesn't pick up sound, it picks up electromagnetic radiation. So I put on, so. Ah, right. If you, I, I went into there with it. Do you know how it done it? Cool, so it works. Let's see what we can find. Again, this is more kind of hardware hacking, but I was just thinking of this in terms of a sound source. This has got all kinds of crazy little stuff going on in here. Hey, you could probably sell that as music. There's a, there's a very fine line between clever and stupid in those circles. <laughs> as I proved by... Uh, I saw a noise act when I went to New York and they gave me a CD. And I put it on in the car, and I drove for 20 minutes, and I was listening to something very similar to this. It was very challenging, and I was just thinking to myself, alright, this is just a fucking racket, but it's cool, yeah? These guys were cool, they looked cool, you know? I saw them making it, so it must be cool, yeah? I'm cool. So I'm driving along listening to it, and I was starting to get into it, and I was thinking, yeah, I can see how they made this, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. And I wound down my window, and as I wound down my window, I heard, yeah, come over the radio. And I'd been listening to a detuned FM station for 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> a very fine line between a stupid and clever. Uh, <laughs> cool, it makes pretty normal sounds. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward bend that I did on here just to change the pitch of it, really. Put a light out on it. Some kind of points, I'm not sure what the point it is, but it proves it. That's pretty cool. What we're going to do this afternoon, the first part is a bit of circuit bending. So, trying to do something like this, we've got a variety of toys on the table. What we're going to do, I'll explain it and then we can play it in my table of toys. Um, we're going to take the toys, the toys apart by um, exposing the circuit boards, which is pretty cool. The next thing is going to be a great way to start is what I've been doing, to have slightly moist fingers. My fingers are already moist, but you may want to moisten your own. Um, and to lay them across parts of the circuit and see what you can find just by moving your hands around. These different toys have a lot of different characteristics. Some of them will be very susceptible to things like this. Some of them will need more encouragement. What you should never, ever do is try and modify anything that's connected to the mains. Mains is death, okay? And if you do survive, as I have, you may not be put back together again how you were beforehand. Also, it hurts more than you could ever believe in your entire life. So anything that's plugged into the mains, even through a little uh, supply, don't mess with it, because it's death. Yeah. 
I'm making the noise. <laughs>